Shane Kirk with Fight Star Media here in HQ. Delighted to be saying I'm joined by Declan Kenneth, promoter for Cage Legacy, head coach of Full Power MMA. So, busy man, Deco. How are you? Busy. I've been really busy lately. Um, fly up promoting the shows, um, putting on good fights. Um, a lot of work has gone into it, but I think it's going to be the biggest show, yeah. Talk to me a little bit about the some of the fights and the fighters that you will have appearing at Cage Legacy. So, we have a lot of professionals coming over from Sweden, um, All Stars Training Centre. Same club as Gustafsson and Jimmy Mano and stuff. We have Irish professionals, Nathan Kelly, Will Flurry. A lot of big names. Anyone that was good, we tried to get them on the card. We tried to make this the best card that we did so far because the fans have gave us a lot of support, so we're trying to give them back, you know. So that's a good thing. We're trying to build this card to be the best card so far. And ticket sales, well, there's not many tickets left, so if you haven't got them yet, you need, you need to, to get, get them there. straight away. Get them fast. Show a couple of the standout fights in your eyes out at me here and talk to me a little bit about them. All the professional fights. So we'll start from the top. Decky McElhane and Prospect, uh, big support lately. Top fighter in my eyes. He's fighting a Swedish opposition. Swedish lad is Kurdish, but he's training in Sweden, so he's going to come over. They're going to fight in the featherweight division, professional. Yeah. Then we have Will Flurry, standout Will Flurry. Will coming off a huge win, win on Bama, yeah. Huge win on Bama. Big following. We have Will against Simon Rosenholm, who was 12 and 3 as an amateur. He was a big prospect over in Sweden and he's making his pro debut, but he's more than happy to take the fight against Will. So that's looking to be a cracking match between two. That's, very that's, a, that's a ballsy fight to take for your pro debut, isn't it? Like yeah, so. He wanted it, so this is why I think that's going to be one to really watch. Then you have Ivan Zadar and Nathan Kelly. Zadar is a kickboxer, kickboxing background. 1 and 0 as a professional MMA, and he's going to fight Nathan Kelly on Nathan's professional debut. And Nathan will have the Irish and the Dublin support behind him. So I kind of put where all the professional fights is like Irish against international opposition. Like. And this is this is your first show outside of your home of Trotter, and you're going down to Cork. Yeah, what we've done like um, we done Kays Legacy 1, Kays Legacy 2, Kays Legacy Fight Night, and then we had our kickboxing show on the dock, but this is the first time. We've really gone outside, but we're looking to go further than this again, like Belfast and Dublin, the capital, obviously, we're a big show. We're going to obviously do a mix show with the kickboxing and the MMA, yeah. where it's a full pro card, like maybe 10 MMA and 5K, one fights, like like a full professional card, because I don't think any Irish domestic, not like other promotions, obviously, without saying their name, are English and so on and do shows in Ireland, but we're the first Irish show putting on major big shows, like the first uh, Irish promotion. And and speaking about y yourself and, and promoting shows, what motivates you to, to try put on these shows and, and, and wake up every day and to be chasing the big fighters and trying to get them onto your shows? It's more or less about trying to give the fighters a stage before they get to the bigger stages. So like not putting us anywhere in levels with anyone or comparisons or anything like that. But like when you come on their show then and you can ask any fighter that was on it, they're ready to make the big step then. Like we had many fighters Decky Dalton, Aaron Maguire, and they're on to bigger and better things now. Like, and even some promotions have been like taking fights that I have been putting on. So, like, I'm doing the right thing. Like, obviously. And the two fighters you just named just fought on Bama the weekend, just gone. Yep. And speaking of Aaron, his younger brother Jack is going to be fighting one of your guys for the vacant featherweight yeah. title. That's so an exciting fight. amateur fight. That's a very exciting amateur fight for the vacant featherweight title. Jack Maguire will have the home support behind him. I'm actually really good friends with Jack, so like this is good. And then Leon is obviously training in my gym. Leon wanted the fight. Jack wanted the fight for the belt. So it made sense that two lads that are really good go head to head. We have John Mitchell on the card against Ivan Blatini. We have Rosa Rosa Walsh and Dee Begley, which is another cracking fight. We had um Austin Lynch and Darren O'Brien, but Austin Lynch has just been injured and there will be an uh, someone will be fighting Darden for the interim bantamweight title that will be announced today any any word on who it's going to be or are you going to hold off go on go on it's it's about 90% done it's about 90% done and I would like to do it but in case it doesn't happen I don't want to say it no. I'll tell you when we go off the camera no worries so we'll, we'll take the promoter's hat off and we'll talk to you as a coach yep. how did you get started in MMA and, and what's your background ok so I used to do a lot of kickboxing when I was younger. I had hundreds of kickboxing fights. I trained under Norman Kelly in Dublin in the Black Panthers Kickboxing Club. Richard Coyley and people like that were in that club at that time. So I had bred good fighters. So after that, I stopped for a while when I was 16. This is how I can relate to like 
on the promotion I know what the fighters need and in the gym I can understand coming from the background the level. so I stopped when I was 16 stopped training and started acting the bollocks when I was 24 then I met Wayne Fagan I don't know if you know Wayne black yeah, belt Brazilian yeah. Jiu Jitsu and my whole life changed I started training started training my little brother Nathan Nathan got on to big things and then after that then we just start promoting the shows because I was going to all these shows and as I said I'm doing this for the fighters I'm doing this because I love MMA and because I love like I, I booked um, one month Phuket top team so whoever gets the fighter in the night is getting one month I saw that and that is absolutely huge especially yeah. like if, if an amateur fighter or even a pro like gets yeah. gets that that's amazing That's yeah. and just to let people know that that's one month free training month and accommodation free training and accommodation in Phuket top team and you get to train with the professional team every day also so there's huge motivation there for every fighter on the card to, to put on an exciting show and, and possibly get that and there will be a lot of big names also being there like um, like without having to just say names to try and like the tickets will be sold regardless of who's going to be there but there's a lot of big people showing interest in it you know so like we're going to get as many big people as we can there we're going to have six professional fights which is, a, which is a lot of professional fights I think and then we have an undercard we also have the four man jiu jitsu tournament going on that night Andrew McGann Paul Brown Julian from Liam Beechner's club and Caron Brown from Samson so like there's something for everybody that day though. and I was I was with Andrew at Bama Andrew wants to win that so that's going to be hugely exciting and especially like just jiu jitsu as a whole getting a base and, and yeah. a stage for people to perform is always great as well like yeah. so, so it really is going to be an exciting show exciting. yeah speaking of the Cobra What's happening with Nathan at the moment and, and where is he? Right, so I knew I was going to be asked this. Um, right now at the minute Nathan is not fighting and not training. He's a couple of little personal things going on but he's eager to go back and I won't let him fight until he trains. So yeah. like, that's where we're at with that. So when he does come back though, he'll be Cause, ready. Because he, he was doing some really, really good things like, you know, and I've spoke to Nathan a couple of times so Nathan, get yourself back in the gym and we look forward to seeing you again. Declan, pleasure as always talking to you. Thank you very much for your time, you. and we look forward to Cage Legacy Tree. See you all on July twenty second. Cage Legacy Tree. You heard the man. See us then. Bye.